How much work is done in stopping a bowling ball rolling uh, with a velocity of 20 meters per second? Hey, if you're changing an object's speed, you'd be applying a force, and that force would act through some distance, so work is being done. Uh, let's take a moment and write down the basic rule, which in essence is conservation of energy. It states that the starting energy plus the work done is equivalent to the ending energy. And we'll just call the ending energy E prime for this problem. So you start off with some kinetic energy, you do work, and then you end up with some kinetic energy. So I'll write the first one as Ke initial plus the work done will be equivalent to the Ke final. We're going to manipulate this equation and we're going to solve this for work. So let's just say that's positive Ke plus positive work will give me Ke final. I'll rewrite positive Ka initial plus work is equal to Ke final. Now if we want to get work by itself, work has initial kinetic energy added to it. The opposite of adding is subtracting. So negative Ke initial plus Oh, that's an extra plus, so let's get rid of that. Plus the Ke initial, plus the work will be the Ke final. But if we add, to, if we take away kinetic energy from one side, we have to do it from the other. Positive kinetic energy, initial and negative, will cancel. So isn't that interesting? I'll circle what's relevant. The work done is the Ke F minus the Kei. This is an essential theorem in physics. It's called the work energy theorem. So the work is equivalent to the change in energy. So we can rewrite this. The work is equivalent to the kinetic energy final. That is 1 half m Vf squared minus the kinetic energy initial 1 half m Vi squared. So this starts off with some speed and ends up with, oh this is great, it stops after some time. So its final velocity is zero. If its final velocity is zero, the entire term goes to zero. So we can ignore that. So really the work done would be equal to the negative starting kinetic energy. So the work done is equal to negative one half times the mass, that's five kgs, times the square of the velocity, that's 20 meters per second quantity squared. 20 squared is 400 times 5 is 2,000 divided by 2 is going to be 1,000 joules. That's wonderful. So work done is equivalent to the change in kinetic energy. Why is the work negative in this case? Well, the object's slowing down. If we compare to the previous problem, this was twice as fast, so it would require four times the amount of work. Hey, if we were driving, Let's scoot down here and take a look at this. This is an extension. If we were driving, down the road, and you were driving twice as fast, it would require you four times the work to stop the bowling ball. What is the consequences of driving and your stopping distance. Can we apply this? What slows down? And this is an extension. This goes beyond the problem. When you slow down, is work done on your car? Absolutely. You slow down and you lose kinetic energy. That work done is the force times the distance 
And what is the force that slows you down? That is friction. So the work done will be the force of friction, which is mu mg times the d. And that work you have to do is equivalent to your kinetic energy change, your 1 half mv squared. That's equal to mu mgd. If you studied dynamics, you studied friction. And that answer for stopping distance is independent of the mass. And if we solve this for d, I'll just write it quickly because we this is extra. Your stopping distance will be equal to v squared divided by mu g. The consequence is if you drive faster, your stopping distance goes up. If friction goes up, let's say you get better brakes and your coefficient of friction of your brakes goes up, you get a smaller distance. And that's interesting, gravity. Not that we have much of, uh, much of an opportunity to change gravity. It's going to be a constant in, in our driving world. Slow down. Be careful. It will give you smaller stopping distances. And make sure your brakes are working well. Nice application of physics.